what's up everybody the fish tank guy here and in today's video what I am going to be doing is showing the difference between the stock BioCube pump and the MaxiJet 1200 pump by Cobalt Aquatics now I know that it's kind of difficult to necessarily show a true difference because it really depends on how you have your flow directed within your tank but essentially what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the stock BioCube pump put the Cobalt Aquatics pump in its place and turn it on and see what the difference is I'm not going to adjust the nozzle or anything now there may not be any difference and I might may have to adjust the nozzle to really see the true difference between the two but I thought it would be an interesting video for those considering doing an upgrade for their 29 gallon bio cube in terms of the return pump so here you can take a look at this side you'll notice the uh, torch you know it's, it's moving pretty nicely there's a decent amount of flow there okay and then on the other side here you'll notice that the frog spawn is it's moving a little bit there's not a lot of flow though on this side of the tank so I'm hoping that with the addition or I should I say replacement of the stock pump um, with the Cobalt Aquatics MJ1200 that I'll see a little bit more flow in the tank a little bit more movement and that will improve not only the environment for the corals but will also help with uh, settling detritus and things like that I hopefully I won't get as much detritus settling on and in my rock work so okay here's the before I'm gonna do a little movie magic and when we'll be back after the cut we'll see what this tank looks like with the new MJ1200 pump okay now we are back after installing the Cobalt Aquatics MJ1200 pump and a word of warning for anybody potentially doing this upgrade you'll probably need to replace the vinyl tubing that runs from the pump to the output into the bio cube just because of uh, you know slight differences in the pump it doesn't fit as snugly onto the new pump so you'll want to get a replacement piece for that so anyway as you can see here we've got uh, we've got the same kind of image that I was looking at before when I had the stock pump installed and let's take a closer look here on the right hand side of the tank you'll notice that there's again good flow um, maybe there's a little bit more consistent movement of the torch but it's nothing really all that significant I do see an improvement but it's not a drastic improvement let me put it that way okay now we'll move over to the frog spawn on the left hand side there does seem to be again a little bit of an improvement here the frog spawn is moving a bit more often and more consistently which is good um, but again not a drastic improvement I didn't really expect a drastic improvement because it is roughly a 50 gallon per hour difference between the two pumps but uh, uh, yeah so that's what we're seeing here so again if you're considering doing this upgrade it's about a $30 upgrade uh, as you can see there are you know there is an improvement but it's not a drastic improvement in terms of water flow within your tank uh, now I might try to redirect the flow a little bit to see if I can't disperse it more evenly throughout my tank but I've never had much luck with it I don't know what my problem is I'm not very good at it so you know, once again I'm the fish tank guy I'd like to thank you guys for checking out this video hopefully it was informative and for all my subscribers out there <clears throat> thank you very much for following my channel and if you have not yet subscribed I would really appreciate it if you could uh, hit the button down there and continue to check out the channel in the future and until a future fish tank video, fish tank guy video, whoops, I will see you guys later.